डियर स्टूडेंट्स डियर स्टूडेंट्स मैथमेटिकली फोर्स इज एग्जैक्टली द प्रोडक्ट ऑफ द मास ऑफ दैट बॉडी एंड एक्सेलेशन प्रोड्यूस्ड मीन्स वेन यू अप्लाई द फोर्स ऑन अ बॉडी और एन ऑब्जेक्ट दैन दैट बॉडी हैज सम एक्सेलेशन and when you multiply when you get the product of this mass and acceleration you are exactly calculating calculating the magnitude of the force and this formula f equal to ma it comes from newton's second law of motion newton's second law of motion later on we shall discuss detailly about different laws of motion means up to here i think the student of class 8 have been well clear what exactly force mean and what is the devices or the tools need to measure the force and what is the si unit of the force remember while you calculate the force after the magnitude you have to put the standard unit so you need to just remember all the si units of the required physical quantities so si unit of force is newton in earlier you might have written and what kind of quantity it is so not to forget here force is a vector quantity because it is strictly dependent on the magnitude both magnitude and the direction too because it always act in the direction in which it is applied now next unit from your book next unit it is given here because one newton how to define one newton force means one newton force can be defined as the force applied on 1 kg mass body producing 1 meter per second square acceleration means if a mass of body is 1 kg and when it is applied when the force is applied on unit mass body and when it is able to produce 1 meter per second square acceleration in the direction of the force and at that time the quantity means that quantity of the force is said to be 1 newton force not to forget dear friend there are the different systems of the measurement cgs unit fps unit and mks unit is taken as a si unit so here in your book here it is given here one newton force one newton force equal to 10 to the power 5 9 means when you express this one newton force it is si unit si unit of force and this is cgs unit cgs unit it is the system of measure in which length is taken as a centimeter not in a meter remember length is taken as a centimeter mass in gram not in kg and time as usual in a second just that of the si unit so this system is known as cgs system or cgs unit so when you convert 1 newton force si unit means 1 newton force equal to dash in cgs unit when you express then definitely 1 newton force is equal to 10 to the power 5 time 